Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout. Out by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Ready, so now ready. second and ten Four after the incompletion on They're first not down. Not from the shotgun to give to Jones. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. Again, it's Jones. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Gay's kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And, yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. He's got it at the 15. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already. And they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Now Camara. Two yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. To throw on second down, Muller. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Mueller. 
And that will be incomplete. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. This is taken at the 18. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bashed it. Super toe. <laughs> sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. And that's roll right sideline here is complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. From the gun on third down, Gore. He's got Evans. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defense. And a big one here as he's taken down Marcus Davenport make that now eight sacks for him on the season and we say it all the time have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that you have to help your offensive line out they're going to protect you as best they can and if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball they're doing a really nice job but when you hold it and give up a sack you're really almost discrediting their work looking for Evans and it's intercepted Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. But they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Muller. Open man is Michael Thomas. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And a quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A tenth carry for Kamara. 
And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here's Kamara trying to run for him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Keeper. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. So it'll be second and goal when we return. We played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Another shot from the one on second and goal. That's what I do. It's a quarterback sneak, and he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. It's their quarterback with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Lutz with the extra point, and that will get him one closer. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan, it's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Back to throw. Goal. And a catch right side by Evans. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you've got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. On first down, Gore. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, his ninth touchdown of the season as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they may be giving up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they ended up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Mm, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Going up top. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. The throw over the middle, taken in. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Looking to throw. Mueller. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever he's trusted confidence. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific guys. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Gary Jennings, his ninth touchdown of the season as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Back to throw now on second and ten. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Throwing on first down. Muller off to Thomas on the left side. And he gets this down deep into Tampa Bay territory. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 52 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Kamara trying again. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a third and goal now as they try to punch in a late touchdown. Operating from the gun, Mueller. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 17. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. <laughs> 